Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Ollie wanted to come see the washing machine do this. Well, we got in here and found it wasn't doing this. And so we don't know exactly how long that's been. Hopefully not too long, but what that means is our clothes might not have been getting as clean as we had hoped for maybe quite some time. Um, and so I've got to figure out exactly what the heck's going on because I really don't want to have to buy a new washer. Because if I buy a new washer, I've got to buy a new dryer to match. Because somebody wouldn't have any, well, neither would I. I like things to match. So I like to blame it on the wife, but no, it'd be me. Um, so we've got to figure out how to fix this thing. This, this is the, uh, it's a Kenmore Elite. This thing's still going strong. And I really don't want to buy the new ones because they don't seem to have agitators. And my grandma is very agitated about the fact that the new ones don't have them. And so... I want to fix this if possible. And plus, we just bought her a treadmill and got a fireplace working, so I'd really like to save some money. So let me see why the heck this thing isn't working. Um, everything else is fine. It's just not agitating, which makes me very agitated. Um, so obviously, this agitator thing has to come out. So let's see. This doesn't have any... Well, this, this, this kind of goes up and down. There must be a cam action somewhere in there. Oh, that just pops off. Okay, I'll set that aside. Now down in here, let me see if I can get the camera even closer. So we had this thing going. I went ahead and put it on spin and drained. Oh, there's a lot of soap residue in here from all the detergent over the years and fabric softener. Okay, so then that comes out like so. Well, but there it is. You see, you can see these teeth around here, right? That's got to be it. There's a bolt in the center of that hole down there that I'm going to remove, and this should, I imagine, pop out. So let me get this backed off just a little bit here. So I'm having to hold the very bottom. I'm having to hold all the way down here these paddles to keep it from rotating while I take this out. That's coming out real easy now. I don't need that. Okay, that feels loose. I think that's out. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty nasty, but that's an old spring. Still doing okay. We'll set that over here. And there it is. Let me, uh, I may actually close this. I need to, let me get a work table here real quick. Move all this stuff. It's got little teeth that are all worn down. So this retainer here has some clips that pop from the inside. Push that there. There. Okay. And so now these little things just pop out. So they're, see they pivot like that. Centrifugal force, I guess, throws them out and engages those things. But the teeth on these are completely worn down. So I got to go see if I can order some more of these. Figure out what they're. I'm sure if I search agitator, I'll find it. So let me go see. All right. So washing machine agitator. Nope. I don't want that. We do Kenmore. Uh, oh, there. Kenmore washing at uh, Walmart. Let's try Amazon. Kenmore washing machine agitator dogs apparently. Uh, okay. Oh, they got lots, lots and lots of them. Oh, and they're really cheap too but they're not gonna get here for a few days. So, I'm gonna make my own. So I scanned in here one of my dogs, resized my artboard to one and a half by one and a half, and now what I can do is import this into SolidWorks as a sketch picture. Let me make sure that this is a useful size, get it centered up here. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I've never done this before, but I think it'll work. So I've traced it around here with some splines and extrude this. There we go, get, get some extruded teeth here on this end. Okay, and then now I need this little piece here on the top. I'll extrude this. Okay, all right, save it as an STL. And we'll go print it. Okay, I need to drop it on this face. And I'll go ahead and make the rest of them here. I'll need a ton of loops. I want this thing to almost be totally solid plastic, but not quite. Okay, and there's all four. It looks good. Alrighty, here's one of my 3D printed ones. We'll see, it's got some 
fairly aggressive teeth on it here. As you can see right there. So let's see if that's going to fit. Uh, yeah, that does pretty well. It goes all the way out. It doesn't go quite as far in as the last one did, but it does fit and it is retained. So I'm going to go print the other ones. So we'll put these in here. Alrighty. And now I'll put this retainer back in there. It's got these little uh, tabs that go into these holes here. So I'll put that down there. Click. They are retained. That's pretty grimy in there after all these years, but it's probably never been clean. But in the scheme of things, that's not too bad. Get up that soap. So you can see the, the teeth around the perimeter there aren't really worn down at all. So hopefully this thing will work. Simply drop it back down, line up those splines essentially. Okay. Ooh. I think that's gonna work. Ooh, I think that's gonna work. All right. Put our spring back down the middle there. Okay. I guess considering it's 14 years old, that's not too terribly bad. Pop that back on there. Alrighty, moment of truth. Small, cold, one, normal. We'll just do a quick one here. Well, I better put soap in. Put a little bit more soap in. Okay. There we go, let's see if it's gonna work. Look at that! <laughs> Sweet! <laughs> 3D prints and a solid work sketch picture. Well, needless to say, I think my wife and I will be very pleased that we don't have to shell out a ton of money for this. That cost me basically nothing and only a few minutes worth of time. Alrighty, I'll let this go. But you can see that really wasn't all that difficult. This is something you can definitely do yourself if you just, even if you don't have a printer, just buy the actual parts. They're cheap, but of course you'll have to wait a couple days. And when mine do come in, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna shelve them up there and leave these 3D printed ones in there until they fail. But go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.